And it's a story we've been covering now for weeks. RSV cases putting kids in the hospital. At the same time, the flu has also been spreading across our state. So I, I looked into some numbers at a pair of local children's hospitals, what they're seeing right now. Bronson Children's Hospital tells me uh, RSV cases have actually gone down slowly but steadily for the past four weeks. The number of kids in the hospital for respiratory illness, that's also down about 20%. Flu cases, though, those are now their top concern in kids. Here at Helen DeVos in Grand Rapids, there's 32 kids in the hospital for RSV, 18 of them in the ICU. They also are reporting 17 kids in the hospital for the flu, three of them in the ICU. Flu cases also becoming their main concern at Helen DeVos. And with Christmas weekend just around the corner right now, a lot of us will see more friends and family than usual. And that means viruses like the flu, RSV, will be going around even more. West Michigan doctors, they have some important advice for us just to keep our kids healthy. And Fox 17's Lauren Coomer is bringing us this morning what parents really should do before heading out to those holiday parties. Good morning, Lauren. Yeah, good morning to you both. With the continued fluctuations in numbers for the respiratory illnesses among children, doctors at hospitals in both Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids are asking parents to think twice before bringing their kids around groups of people. There's a lot of respiratory viruses going around. Um, influenza, COVID is still there, and, and RSD, and all of those viruses can can end up putting our, our little kids at, in danger. At Bronson Children's Hospital, Dr. Megan Sikama says they've seen record numbers of RSV for both inpatient and outpatient. The most affected children by RSV are the, the littlest ones, so um, less than two, but especially in those um, first few months of life. At Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, Dr. Hossein Morandi saying it's reached its peak with not just RSV, but influenza and COVID as well. Uh, we have seen significant numbers over the last few weeks. Uh, we believe that we reached a peak last week. Uh, the most number of patients that we had had in-house uh, at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital with these viruses. Uh, it was the largest uh, uh, number of volume patients that we have had. So what is it that parents can do to reduce the risk of infection in their kids? So when you're taking your children to any sort of gathering, um, it's, it's certainly fair to make sure that no one there is, is sick or feeling ill um, or even recently recovering from being sick. It's it's appropriate to kind of keep a bubble around around the youngest children. And if you can't avoid getting together, make sure those who are or were sick wear a mask. Also, limit contact between them and your child. Dr. Sikama saying to monitor your child and how they're feeling as well. The most common symptoms with RSV are just like any other respiratory illness. So a lot of nasal congestion, coughing, sneezing. More severe symptoms that require medical attention include fast-paced breathing, color changes, loss of appetite, and dehydration. As for family and friends hoping to help prevent the spread this holiday season, listen to the kids' parents. We are all doing the best we can to protect um, our children, and so just respecting that that's the choice that these families are making and, and honoring honoring their, their mission to protect their, their child. And just and with no RSV vaccine at this time, she says getting the flu and or COVID vaccine for eligible kids can also help prevent or lessen symptoms for some of the other easily spread viruses. If parents have any questions, she says to contact your child's pediatrician. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.